Um, I wanted to quickly talk about the Sega Mega Drive Mini because I finally got one. I finally, finally, finally got my hands on a Mega Drive Mini. I've been one of these people who's like, oh, do I want one of these mini consoles? Am I really bothered about them and kind of thing? And I kind of, I don't want to say I, I, I completely dis. I, I completely distanced myself from them. But I was like, you know what? I don't really need one. It's fine. Um, and then recently I've been kind of talking to my brother because he's got the NES Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini and he absolutely loves them. He thinks they're so cool. He loves them. And I thought, you know what? I, I love the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive is probably... It's the console I grew up with. It's, it's such an iconic console of my childhood. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a Mega Drive Mini. And let's see what they're like. So this is the actual console itself. It's it's tiny when you compare it to the original thing. But yeah, I've had this since last Friday. I've I've been playing with this since. And I have had such a fun time with this. Um, like you saw, I, I even did a tweet on Twitter about it. Sort of saying it arrived. Um, I also bought for myself as kind of like a little gift to myself because I've not been well recently. There's been a lot going on. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to something. And I managed to get this at a bit of a steal, if I'm honest, because usually these can go for like 60, 70 quid, sometimes more. These are really popular little machines. Uh, I'll tell you a good reason why they're very popular in a moment. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I managed to get this for 30 quid. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it didn't have the box, but I'm like, you know what? I by the, If I got the box, I just open the box and it'd just go in my attic. So I don't really need the box. As long as the thing works, I don't care. So yeah, so a big reason why these are so popular is because you can modify them and add more games to them. So that's what I did. I'm one of these people, I modded it, got more games on it. So I've pretty much made my mega drive classic i put all get like all the games from my shelves over here like every single mega drive game i've got is now on that thing um and obviously there's other games which i really like and i've added to it as well which obviously unfortunately i don't have on my shelf uh don't tell anyone about that bit <laughs> but yeah it is it is a fun little machine um it's been great for me and the little one because we've been playing games together and um, so i can kind of introduce it to the mega drive properly Fight! <laughs> oh no, she's beating me up again! Mom! I need a Megazord today! I'm gonna beat you up, Megazord! Uh, uh, what's inside a Megazord? The Power Rangers! I'm gonna beat you up, Megazord! No, she's beating me again! No! Stop! No, I want to win! Oh, you won! Um, you get full-size Mega Drive pads with it as well. So it is it it is basically like playing on the real thing. But it's this big and it connects to your telly via HDMI. So it's so easy to set up. You just plug in a USB cable in the back, plug your HDMI cable, and off you go. So if you've not had a chance to pick one of these up, I kind of do recommend these now. Because, yeah, it's... They're, they're just fun little machines that you can just kind of mess about with. And yeah, I cannot stress enough that these are awesome machines. If you have one, let me know and let me know your thoughts on them. But uh, but yeah, I will be picking up more of these probably. I'm probably going to pick up the NES Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini at some point. Uh, another reason why I wanted to pick this up as well is because of, there's a Mega Drive 2 on the way, which is based on the Model 2 Mega Drive, which is, oh, that's cool. It gives me a chance to pick it up because obviously I didn't have the original Mega Drive Mini. But then I found out how rare they're becoming and how difficult the Mega Drive 2s are becoming to get. So, so yeah, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to try and find an original Mega Drive Mini. And I'm glad I did. So, yeah, so if you've not got one of these and, you, and you're a fan of the Mega Drive and things like that, I suggest picking one up. I really, really do. Uh, and like I said, I'm probably going to be picking up the NES Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini. And this will be really popular for streaming as well, because if I want to play Mega Drive games, I can just get this out and it just sits quite nicely on your desk. It's not taking up pretty much any desk space. So, yeah, 
and it, like I said, they're really easy to set up. So yeah, so I just wanted to just quickly talk about that. Thank you for listening to that. 